Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Research Nomics, a video lecture series on the subject Research Methods in Public Administration. This is Ronald Alan Pakana, your research instructor. Today, we will be discussing about references and citations. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we go through our research journey. For our topic outline, we will begin with what are citations and references. To be followed by the common sources and references, Google Scholar, in-text citation versus references, and how to make in-text citation and referencing easy using Microsoft Word. Okay, so what are citations and references? So to begin, when you conduct research, you will use information from sources such as other researches, journals, articles, or books related to your topic. In doing so, proper citation and referencing is crucial in order to avoid plagiarism. So we need to take into account that plagiarism is equal to copying without acknowledging the source. So, dili lang ta basta basta munguha og dili ato ha. Dili ra balalay makuha no Paris. Here are the common sources and references. We have journals, books, internet sources, Mendeley, and Google Scholar. So out of this, we will maximize the use of Google Scholar as this is the most common, accessible, and familiar to everyone. So dili lang sa tapalabig Facebook, Facebook ha? Google Scholar sa tap for the next months para mahuman ang atong research. Here is an easy guide on how to use Google Scholar. Step 1, you have to open Google Scholar via scholar.google.com. After you reach the interface, you have to click article and search for your research topic. And then, you have to select an article that you want to open or check. Afterwards, you have to read the article and look for things you can use for your research. For example, the methods used in the study, the result of the study, and other important information. After finding things you will use for your research, paraphrase the statement and cite the author properly. So don't worry, I will teach you how to cite the sources easier in the following slides. Lastly, you have to check if the article you open has a given reference to make your life easier. Also, check if the file can be downloaded so you can have a copy of it. So if the file cannot be downloaded, you can try downloading it through opening the website scihub.st. Just copy and paste the DUI of the article and click open. You might be wondering what is the difference between in-text citation and references. On one hand, in-text citations are citations within the main body of the text and refer to a direct quote or paraphrase. They correspond to a reference in the main reference list. These citations include the surname of the author and the date of publication only. On the other hand, a reference list is a complete list of references used in a piece of writing. This includes the author name, date of publication, title, and more. And also, these contain full references for all in-text citations used. Here are some of examples of in-text citation and references. How to make in-text citation and referencing easy using Microsoft Word. First is you have to open Microsoft Word. Enter the paraphrase content from Google Scholar or other sources. And then you have to position your cursor at the end of the sentence. 
click the References menu and proceed to Citations and Bibliography. Style should be APA. Start adding sources by clicking Insert Citation and Add New Source. And then you have to fill up the necessary details. After finishing the in-text citation, proceed to Referencing by clicking Bibliography and select References. And there you have it! You have finished your proper citation and reference. Congratulations! The following slides are some of the examples on how to go about this section. And that's it for this episode. If you have any questions, you can contact me through the following outlets. This has been Ronald Alan Pakana, and this is Research Nomics. <music>